Have any of you ever been to Africa, back to the motherland? There's something. And I went to Zimbabwe. It's a new country, right? It's about three years old now. Because it used to be Rhodesia before they killed all them white motherfuckers over there. <laughs> it's the only country I've ever been to. Black people kicked ass over there. Seven years, they killed motherfuckers, Jack. They happy, too. You walk down the street, they just smiling. Hello. Oh, they don't fuck with us no more, no. <laughs> I was over there with some American brothers. We had a good time. We were sitting around talking about four Americans. We talked about five hours, man. Talked about some good shit, right? And an African man asked us, we was talking, he said, What language do you speak at home? You know, we looked at each other, you know, what, English? Everybody speak English, but what language you speak when you're home? <laughs> One of the brothers looked at him and said, uh, jive? <laughs> no, it's just a nice feeling. I know how white people feel in America now. Relaxed. Because <laughs> when I heard the police car, I knew they wasn't coming after me. <laughs> You know, I just say, I just lay in bed and say, must be going after some white person. <laughs> but over here, man, you hear a police car, I don't give a fuck how sleepy you are. You will wake your ass up if you're black. <laughs> hey, you start thinking about shit you did. <laughs> well, they can't get me for that. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> fuck it, I'll go back to sleep. I slept like a baby, man, in Zimbabwe. I was out in what they call the bush, right? I was out sleeping, I slept like a baby. I just knew the Ku Klux Klan wasn't gonna rush in on my ass, <laughs> right? And if they did rush in, they'd be serving something. <laughs> oh, there, boy. <laughs> and every place I go, man, people wanna come to America. They really do. I mean, they start talking about America, make your dick hard for America. You hear them talk, man, you say, we got all that shit in America? I gotta get my ass back. So you can eat 24 hours a day in America. I say, yeah, you right about that, Jack. If you got some money or a pistol, you can get something to eat. You can't stick up shit over there. After 10 o'clock, that shit is closed. Ain't nothing to eat, and don't be fucking around asking nobody. Really. Stick them up. What you gonna stick up? We ain't got nothing. Why don't you go out the bush, fuck with them lions? <laughs> and see, you go out there where them real lions are. I ain't talking about them lions you fuck with at the zoo. You know how you go fuck with the lion. Hey, lion, motherfucker. <laughs> be throwing shit at it, lion be, hey. You don't throw shit at them real lions, boy. And somebody always want to go up and fuck with the lions. Tourists always want, oh, George, stop here. Look at those lions. I've got to go stand next to them. The lions slap all the ass off them. George be grinning and shit. Them. Want to try that again, dear? I didn't get that one. We saw a lion kill a water buffalo, two women lion, and the male lion come to eat, chasing them away, right? And we went to take a picture, right? And he didn't like it. And he bent down and picked the water buffalo up by its nuts. <laughs> he picked it up by its nuts, threw it over its head, turned his ass to us. You know, they're like, take a picture of that. And you could be asleep at night, man, and you hear like the warriors come in from like the village people, people live in the country, you hear them singing and shit. My way, good day, my way. You been in a hotel and she's like, what's that? Okay, my way, good day, my way, There's something to see. Come on, my way, I'm on Gage Way. Tell my jaw, jaw. It'd be beautiful, man. And white people start asking you questions then. What are they saying? What are they talking about? What's going on? Rich, you got any idea? What are they doing? There's a hundred of them. What are they planning? Anything? I like to go, shh, shh. Pretend like I know what's happening, right? Shh, keep it down, keep it down. I think you better get back in your room, sir. This could be it. 
And men dance together. If you go to a party or something, the men ask you to dance and shit. I, you know, first I say, wait, motherfucker, oh. No, uh, no, ain't no dancing and shit. And men walk down the street holding hands. Dude say, say, you guys walk down the street holding hands. I don't know if I could get behind that. He said, if Prime Minister Mugabe asked you to walk down the street holding hands, you get behind it. I say, I think you're right. I said, I'd be holding my ass up. Hey, come on. I'm just thinking about like South Africa going to be free soon. That's where white people just got two million white people, 22 million blacks. They can't hang. Because it's like a billion Africans waiting to march on them motherfuckers, right? Look at that. African man told me, he said, we're going to ride the train to Johannesburg with my ass hanging out the window. We're going to have a big party. See, I want to be here for that shit. Only thing is, like, America helps them motherfuckers, right? We be sending them shit, napalm and shit like that. You know, to help bomb black people. Fuck that. I don't understand sometimes what goes on with people. Because, like, here we are in this theater, we're getting along real good until we go outside. Then the shit change. Because <laughs> we can get along real great for a moment, then we can't, so that's insanity. We must be good all the time. 